A personal website tells your story. It's your space on the internet where you can share anything about yourself, your passions, quirky facts, the cool things you create, a space where people can learn all about you. Welcome to episode two of my Design and Code With Me series. Today, we're gonna to be creating my sister's art portfolio website. From conception to design and finally to code, The first step to creating something is sitting down and brainstorming ideas, jotting as many ideas you have down on paper, letting thoughts flow, translating abstract visions in your head, and then converting them into something tangible that you can begin working on. We started by taking a bunch of the artwork she's made recently and just laid it all out on a table to source inspiration from it. A person's art is an extension of themselves. It's like looking through a window into their mind, a peek at their inner self. I wanted my sister's website to be a similar experience, to feel like you were getting to know her through her art whenever someone opened her site. But most importantly, I wanted to craft this alternate universe where you can follow the adventures of Ellie a character that my sister created as an extended representation of herself. I wanted to take her artwork and tell a story with it. By giving my sister's artwork a story, we transform it from a random collection of drawings into something more meaningful, something that we, as people, can really relate with and become attached to. I just wanted to say thanks so much to Tascade for sponsoring today's video. Tascade is a free app that helps you map out your workflows, from ideas to action. What I love about Tascade is the abundance of templates you can select from. These curated templates are great when you need a place to start when working on something. I'm going to be using their ultimate design system checklist template as I walk through my design and code process. I've shared this template in the description if you like it and want to try it out. Go to Tascade.com and use the code Macy Lee YouTube for 100% off lifetime free upgrades on their Tascade premium plans. So now that we've decided what elements of artwork we want to incorporate into the website and how we want to incorporate it, we're ready to move on to the mood boarding process. If you'd like to learn more about my design process, I made a video on it previously, which I'll link in the description below and in the cards here. Mood boarding is something that I like to do before I dive into designing the website itself. It's where I pull in all of my sources of inspiration and start to get a feel for the theme that we're trying to create. I plan out how I want the website to feel and get a general idea of how I would like it to look. During this process, I choose the color palette for the site, the typography, and the layout grid. This helps me solidify my overall vision. A good color scheme is integral to any great design. Colors can have a lot of power. They really influence how things feel. For example, dark paint can make a room feel small, while bright paint can make the same room feel much larger. Typeface seems like such a minor detail, but it can have just as much impact as color. We created a custom font with my sister's handwriting for a cozy and homey feeling. This way, her website really feels like it was a digital experience drawn by her hand. After I finished mood boarding, I began sketching out a low fidelity wireframe. There are a couple of key things I wanted to add to the design. First, an animated hero banner where Ellie is walking in her world, bringing the viewer along with her as she embarks on her journey. This would be symbolic of my sister's journey as she dives into her art career. The animated hero itself would keep the website feeling alive and always moving forward. Second, we would have three different sections which would link to her three different social profiles, 
Instagram, Etsy, and Dribbble. In each section, there would be two columns. On one column, there would be descriptive text and a button linking to one of her social profiles. On the other column, there would be a corresponding illustration of Ellie doing something that would relate. For example, a drawing of Ellie taking photographs for the Instagram section. A drawing of Ellie selling her work at a bazaar for the Etsy section. And a drawing of Ellie painting snail shells for the dribble slash art portfolio section. With these three sections, the viewer can connect with Ellie's story more and navigate to the artist's different social profiles. Whenever I design something, I like to stick to a few basic principles. Simple is better. I believe that designs should be aesthetic as well as usable. A user shouldn't have to think about how to interface with the product. It should be intuitive. It's also important to remember that inspiration can come from anywhere, oftentimes in the most unexpected places. Design is everywhere, from the tableware we use, to architecture, electronics, magazines. Design can even be found in plants. With the design done, we can finally work on bringing it to life. When I build websites, I like to use React and deploy them using Netlify. React is a great framework to use for web development, and Netlify makes deploying your site super simple. Many people ask me how I started my journey in software engineering and design. Well, I actually first learned how to code in high school. I didn't really like it at first. I couldn't find a way to intersect my creative and artistic passions with such a seemingly cold and logical skill. But in college, I was really determined to find something I enjoyed. And that's when I discovered the world of UX UI and saw how code was used to bring designs to life. This unlocked a world of possibilities for me. My passion has always been to create things that would leave a positive impact on at least one person's life. I learned how to use code to do exactly that, to take my designs, my ideas, and turn them into more tangible things that could potentially touch people's lives. I thrive at the intersection of design and code and find so much joy in creating something truly unique. It's such a cool and rewarding experience to take a design and bring it to life, and then to watch other people use and experience what you've built. Seeing someone use what I've made and get something good out of it makes the hard work, frustrations, and late nights all worth it. Here's the finished product. My Sweet Chubbs Art Portfolio website, where you can stop by, immerse yourself into the world of Ellie, and feel cozy and relaxed. Thanks again for tuning into my channel. This wraps up episode 2 of my Design and Code With Me series. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, comment down below your thoughts, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these types of videos. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.